What's going on guys? So y'all already should have known the first mod we're doing to this thing is an exhaust because this thing is like Prius level quiet. And if you're like myself, you buy a V8 because you want to hear the V8. So we're going to be doing a very cheap and easy mod today that's hopefully going to make this thing sound a ton better. Uh, a lot of y'all followed me for Baby Squat, which had the True Duels on it. Sound absolutely amazing. A lot of y'all love that setup. We probably will dabble in that exhaust setup at some point with this truck. But one thing I did regret with the other truck was I did that very, very first. I got it all welded in and I wasn't able to try some of the other kits that I wanted to that are more popular to a lot of people because I like exhaust and obviously the more exhaust videos I can do, the more fun I'm having, the more content for y'all. So we're going to start off this truck by doing several different bolt-on kits that I can personally do, show y'all what it sounds like and everything. And then if we do want to go to the True Duels, we can absolutely do that. AFE, muffler delete, I think it was $100. I would assume it's gonna be much, much better because if we take a brief look under here, where's she at? That gargantuan of a muffler. We also do have some little resonators on the back. So that is gonna be soaking up some sound. We might have to just chop them babies off at some point. But I know a muffler delete should allow this thing to be actually heard and enjoy the V8 sound. Calling it Trail Boss, we call it Baby Squat 2.0. I'm not sure. Um, but let's go ahead and get this thing uh, in the basement, get to chopping, show you all the install, and then hopefully this thing sounds freaking sick. Since this is an exhaust video and we gotta move Larry, it's only right that we do a cold start on Larry. They did change up the exhaust from the 18 body style. You have the two converters, one, two, you also got the typical pinched, almost flat exhaust, which makes no sense, but you no longer have a third cat on these trucks. So two larger factory cats, which is kind of a bummer, but then it is three and a half inch piping. Yes, it is big boy exhaust piping on this thing. You got your flex, whatever right there. Next down to, I guess a three inch to the muffler, three inch out, three and a half inch to the Y pipe up there and then it splits off to the duels. We're gonna leave this on because I don't want to cut it right here and then it not line up properly. We're gonna do it like the instructions say on this bad boy and hopefully it will work out. I think it's gonna sound good. So anyways, I'm gonna measure the back and we're gonna get to cutting. Right there, that's about as close as I could get with the saws off. We're actually gonna do, I think two inch because I got to cut a little bit farther up on the front with the saws all than what they said, so it looks like right past where it flanges back up. It's warm still. Oh yeah, that's not bad. Got a little heat shield on it. Just slide it right out of the way. Right there. This has to do with the cylinder deactivation. So, that's how she looks. I don't really know which way you would rather zip tie it whether it be probably like that, because then it's flat on the bottom. I know there's at least one person watching this video that wants me to crank it up before I put that pipe on with it just cut off right here. So let's do that. So that's actually pretty promising. That was decently loud. Not much tone to it, but decently loud. So now, Time to put the pipe on there. Went ahead and stuck the pipe on here. Yeah, we gotta cut a decent chunk off of there. Uh, we probably honestly could have bypassed this. All right, just a little bit of advice. Cut it right the first time because that's super annoying to cut a little piece off. It, it vibrates so badly, it's, it's not fun with the saws off. You can grab this portion of the pipe and push back and it'll go all the way up, tucked up against that heat shield and that'll give you room to push that back and slide it. In my case, I was still a, just the tiniest bit too long, still just a tiny, 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 but you can actually push this portion up just a little bit, it has that flex whatever up there. You can push this up a little bit in conjuncture with pushing that back, and then your pipe will slip on. So now we're just gonna start tightening this down and we should be good to go. All right, we're all done, bolted up, tightened up, ready to rip. This is gonna be a full temp warm start See how she sounds. Oh, you can actually hear it. 
obviously still rocking the factory tips, just a muffler delete. So not expecting humongous sound coming out of this thing, but I feel like it's gonna be really noticeable romping on it. But already just that lumpy idle. Ugh, so much better. I wanted to get my very first impression before I heard it. I wanted to get it on camera. It's already lumpy at idle. I guess we'll test the stop start now. Oh, okay. I can, I can dig it. I can dig it. All right. Full throttle. Let's rip it. <laughs> it's still pretty quiet. I'm not going to lie. It's still pretty quiet. But it definitely has an actual exhaust note now. Give me one second. We'll, we're gonna do it again with the windows up real quick. Dude, this truck's so quick. I'm telling you, this is a quick truck. And that sounds even better with the windows up. Y'all know the last thing we gotta do is the windows down on the side, you know, like we cruise and we cruise in the middle of summer, we're going for a cruise, all right? I actually kind of dig it though. It works good. That sounds good starting up, so I don't absolutely hate it. All right, uh, not policeman confirmed. Rompage inbound. Not bad, not bad. For a $100 muffler delete that you can do in your basement with a saw blade, that's pretty good. I'm digging it. It's definitely not up to my standards of loudness, but it's definitely a lot better than stock and it's gonna get me by.
hint, hint of drone. Not unbearable, but it is there. <laughs> Got that lazy rev. All right, guys, well, that's about gonna do it for this video. Hopefully y'all did enjoy. Nice little DIY muffler delete. 100 bucks, do it in your yard, in your basement. You can do it literally anywhere as long as you have some way of cutting the stock one off. Super easy, definitely gives it a lot better sound and it actually gives it a sound rather than stock where it's just silent. It's definitely not as loud as I want it to be, but at the end of the day, 100 bucks, did it in like 30 minutes. You really can't complain and it does give it a good sound a little bit of drone like i mentioned but other than that really enjoyable next thing we're going to do for sure is going to be cutting off these back resonator things i'm going to measure them up see if i can't order in some pipe do it myself but if not then we can you know run down to the exhaust shop and get those things chopped off real quick i'm assuming they're holding up a decent amount of sound maybe not i don't know i know the cats are bigger there's only two of them on this truck versus like the 18s in back that have the two smaller than this and then the third cat so maybe those things are just holding in all that good sound we'll have to address that down the road but uh yeah it's also first time dude earl larry meets new truck and i don't know about y'all but i think the trail boss is screaming for the ballistics i'm just saying we're gonna get the portions the bottom portions of the door and everything wrapped in clear bra before we put wides on it because i don't want it to get beat up i'm about to shock some y'all i ordered materials to fix the headliner and larry yes i know i just blew a lot of minds anyways look forward to that coming as soon as we get good weather and i got time but as far as i'm concerned trail boss or any silverado 19 plus muffler delete a plus really no negatives that are going to deter you away from this and, and enjoying it and whatnot all right guys well per the usual my gopro died so i'm going to sign off here hopefully y'all did enjoy i will see y'all in the next one the little update for one absolutely love the exhaust it is really nice for a nice tone mature exhaust note it's actually really nice update though uh we had a little exhaust leak so i went down to advance auto and picked up one of the exhaust wraps and i put it between the two pipes and now we are good to go no exhaust leaks so you might have to do that i don't know if you cut your pipe differently maybe it'll line up differently i don't know but here goes our first true cold start